I'll be reacting to Kakushi Goto episode 9, and I'll start in my reaction from the 17 second mark in 1, 0, go! Oh, I'm excited for this. <laughs> I always love it. Oh! Dang. <laughs> Whoa. I love the dramatic work there. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay. Can't blame him for getting hyped. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, who could say no to that face? <laughs> Yup, Goto, he's gonna be taken by peer pressure. It's a party! <laughs> it sounds like, actually, it sounds like fun. <laughs> Yo! They all look good in those outfits, my goodness. Yes, who can say no? He has to say yes! Ah. Yeah, I mean, not much you can do there. They're all probably gonna be super excited though. Oh, <laughs> it's good. Man, if I were in his position, I'd be, I'd be, I mean, I'd be kind of sad and having to like break their hearts. I'd be sad indeed. <laughs> I like how he's like taking his time though. If if it's his personality. For me, I'm a type who just likes to rip the bandaid off completely. And I'd be like, I mean, I would do it differently. I would just tell him straight up, yep, there's gonna be no party, but I like that though. Just depends on the person. Sometimes people just like to rip the bandaid off slowly. But hey, oh, I always, I was like, no, I'm there. So cute. Now, on Funimation's website, it says you're lying December, so I, I can only hope. It's not as sad as your line April's ending. I'm a, I'm gonna be optimistic, but the title, the fucking title, excuse me, your line April of uh, PTSD. I'm like, because uh, <laughs> I really, really love that series, but damn, the ending really <laughs> rocked me. No, uh, can only hope it's um something happier. Yeah, I'm gonna be optimistic. <sighs> I just wonder how it's gonna artfully transition into the flash forward sequence, though. So far, everything's seemingly happy in the episode so far. For the most part. That's the only thing I worry about. Aww, such a cute little tree. Mm-hmm. Oh. So that's it. <laughs> that's a disco. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like something straight out of the eighties. Give me those um give me those vibes when I've seen so many when I see those eighties movies. Cause I like me. I like them in my retro movies. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm already prepped. I already prepped for success there. Mm. <laughs> I like that they're just saying all the preparation the Amangaka has to 
has to go through and the type of mindset you gotta, gotta actually deal with. I like that. It really helps me. I mean, it already helps in making their efforts um, more, me appreciating their efforts even more. Hmm. Dang. <laughs> oh man, their imaginations. <clears throat> oh no! <laughs> oh man. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty interesting there. Oh. She liked that showing us more the political angle of manga making there. Hmm. <laughs> I like how I how go to just always ask the paper just to hurt his editor, but not enough to actually go in for the kill. <laughs> I really like that feature. Showing you his self-control. Whoa! <laughs> I like how it looks horror movie like. Yo, they all look like they died. Well, some of them look like they died. <laughs> huh? Uh -huh. This one just likes enjoying people suffer. <laughs> He's gonna have to make probably a year end party potentially. Of course, you go straight up for that. Hmm. <laughs> Manipulating his emotions there. I salute her. <laughs> Sorry, best girl. I mean, the episodes already had that, but shit, this episode just further reaffirms this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a trap, but hell. Can't blame him for falling into it. Hmm. That's probably going to encourage him even more to want to go. Nadila, is he, is he at, who's going to think about? I mean, I actually have no idea. It's going to be Mike. Mmm, that's so cute. you excited? Yes! Oh, okay.
And that could actually help them out too, um, if he brings them Vila. Because he needs someone to take care of him and because of the situation that Guts has to hide or something that actually could cover his bases. I like that. Yeah, I had a feeling this fool was going to make his move. Okay, shooting a shot. He may be a dick, but damn, I gotta respect them. Gotta respect him making his move. That's. That gotta respect that. That's pretty badass, actually. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is a good... You know, that doesn't look so bad. That's... <laughs> oh, man. This is too adorable. <laughs> and I love how that joke is was actually set up earlier, so this is really, really cute. <laughs> oh, it's actually nice to see him drunk. Hey, it works on his favorite. Mmm. Dang, that looks lit there. Hmm? Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they do kind of sound similar. Okay, I can actually, I can actually see why someone would perceive it that way. If you just reverse it, it kind of does look like a little dress. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. BS. Huh! I don't like how he just gives no fucks. Hmm. Thanks, sort of like a bodyguard then or a balancer. Hmm. 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 It's pretty interesting. <laughs> How is he even gonna? <laughs> he deserves that beat down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he needs a bad. He's a bad boy. He needs to be punished. Yeah. He earned that. <laughs> Nah, he just likes blaming other people for his own problems.
He still got his ass beat. Only emotionally instead of just physically. So that's still an ass beating. <laughs> oh. Because emotional and mental pain can be just as strong as physical. She is cute. She's selling herself short. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> hey, that's actually pretty damn awesome. <laughs> um, I mean, just a more. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it looks like he's in like a dramatic battle shonen situation with his face. Talk about eating things up dramatically. Holy. Oh, this fool. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves the, his neck to be ringed, so yeah. I mean, he does look completely different, though. He doesn't even look like the same man. <laughs> I'm sure there are going to be some manga... No, there are some manga authors that look cool, though. Tate Kubo and, um... And Araki are handsome as fuck, so not a... Some manga authors look handsome as hell. They could be, like, models and all that. I'm just saying. <laughs> How are we to come into this? <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, he kind of does look like an editor. <laughs> oh. Goat, so, but hey, what doesn't make you, what doesn't kill you, will make you stronger. Oh, ho, 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 ho. whoa! Yo, if um, if I, if I, if I was like taking that out of context, I'd be thinking it was an H E N T A I. With some. Uh... Alright, that's cool. 
<laughs> hey, I look more like a mangaka now, though. <laughs> Yo, is your focus on getting the cut? Hmm. Oh, okay. Actually, nice in on itself. Oh, this smug ass bastard. <laughs> hey, but that's what makes him likable, though. So funny. Hey, at least she had fun. That's all that matters. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> no, that looks like a futuristic Christmas tree. Hmm. Is it a flash forward? Feels like one. Oh. Among artists disappeared. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, what? Disappeared? I mean, that implies. What? Okay, I mean, um. <clears throat> That was what, like the shortest flash forward. I was like just a few seconds. Oh, okay. I don't know what to make of it emotionally. Uh, but it gives hope though because it says manga artists have disappeared. So maybe <clears throat> that book is talking about disappearance in the context of death or something. I have no idea. But whatever is because it gives me it gives me more hope that Goto's alive. So even though it seemed kind of negative. I'm gonna look at it optimistically as hell. Hell yes. Cause I'm gonna grasp on any little string of freaking hope. Now that's for what I thought about this episode. I thought it was a fun ass, uh, fun ass, funny episode. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10. I thought it was great. It made me laugh a lot. It made me smile a lot. Kinda wish it would've shown happened to the deal though because they had the deal there for like a bit. Then she just straight up disappeared like in thin air, as if she was like a um, masterful magician or something. And she was like David Blaine. I was like, whoa. So that's about the only thing that I, that I was like, eh, okay. But I, I loved everything though. The episode was funny. I love how. Oh. She's in Peavy there. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> that's the savagery. But alright, alright, I love this, I love this. And then aside from that, I love the sequence where our Goto was just getting beat down through to a misunderstanding, and then afterwards they apologized when they realized he was an actual long author. <laughs> that was nice. Sweet and endearing, and he actually gave me a lot of chuckles. So all in all, this episode had a lot nice, nice positive, fun angles going into it. And that's why I thought this episode was worthy of an 8.5 out of 10. It was just greatness from start to finish. And aside from that, it was so cute to get to see um, he made mix up the the disco ball with the chandelier thing. So that was cute too. And I love how it actually showed you how Roshana was really responsible to actually come into the clutch and actually help out by taking care of Hime while... Goto was doing that beat that was pretty nice. It shows you her responsibility and how she was able to figure out a solution while was going to like a, a, a rival a manga 
entities, parties. So all in all, I actually like that. Gives her a lot of characterization. Shows her competency. Oh. Um, damn, that's pretty cool, actually. Like, all those just subtle details giving you bits of the character's personality and then somebody just celebrating that he was able to get Scott free. <laughs> I hope that Fu at least appreciates Goto's, um, Goto's sacrifice when you receive that playful beatdown. <laughs> oh, man. So, I don't know, yeah, that's why I thought this episode was great from the character and story standpoint. And I really loved the animation and art. It was nice, and that's why I really, really dug this episode. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how you feel about Miraction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Rate the bit, share it, comment, subscribe. And thank y'all so much for watching my video, and have a great and safe day, everyone. Bye-bye.